and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 239. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Wills. It's far too early in the morning for this. Why'd you wake me up, man? Because we have a show to do. Oh, okay, that's a good enough, that's a good enough reason. Yeah, and also it's for the fans who are listening to this. Yeah, you guys. What? What, what fans? They, they don't care about the news. The, they'd rather go back inside and play their Pokemons or do something with their Pokemons or play their 3DSs and share their Pokemons. I don't know. Something. Oh, yeah. Pokemon is out. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's talking about it. You, you're playing it? <laughs> I wish I had the money to throw down to get a 3DS and Pokemon. <laughs> get a 2DS. Why? So so I can have something that, that when I want to fold it, I snap it in two and break it? No, have you not seen the 2DS? Oh, I've seen the 2DS, but it's just like, great. So then when you forget, now you have two extra screens you can scratch <laughs> or, or a plate. But in all honesty, I would like to see a bunch of 2DSs um, stack on each other and make a huge circle like a cake. <laughs> I want to see how that how big that could be. That much tech. On top of each other. It's not on top. Dangerous. It's just round, like you uh, stand it on its end. Oh, okay. Well, that'd be a lot of layers. <laughs> uh, but anywho, we're not going to talk about the Pokemons or the tree or the 2DS. We're talking about the Pony News, surprisingly, which is, for this week, not much. And in today's first news, Season 6, Part 2 of My Little Pony hits Netflix on December 20th. So, remember a while back when we were talking about ponies on the iTunes? Yeah, only half of the season's out. Well, the second half is going to come on on December 20th. So, yay! Congratulations, Netflix people. You finally caught up with the rest of the world. Well, it's okay. I mean, Netflix is a really good service, so that's good. Oh, yeah, I mean... I have Netflix, and I binge watch plenty of things sometimes. It's just you know, uh, it, it's not it's not like uh, it's not like other services where if they're updated instantaneously, like Amazon or Hulu. But the advantage, at least compared to those services, is that you don't have to watch commercials. True, you're already paying something up front, so ads are out of the way. Yeah, unlike Hulu, where it's like, oh, you gave us money, here's some more ads. <sighs> That's not good. But yay, now we can watch the last bit of Pony on Netflix whenever you want on the 20th. It'll be an early Christmas present, I guess. Oh, true, true. I mean, for people who want to binge watch the whole entire season 6 on the holidays, it's a good uh, way to do it, right? It's what? Um, it's on the 20th. Christmas is five days away. So I'm guessing holiday starts on the 20th? No? Hmm, you know, actually, that's a good thing to look up a calendar for. Let's see. Do, 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 do. The 20th is going to be, yes, it's the same week. Uh, no, no, actually, uh, it's not the same week as Christmas. It's a Tuesday, and uh, oh. Christmas this year falls on a Sunday. Oh, that's cool. Uh-huh. Well, at least you have something to look at while doing Christmas stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, geez, unless you're in retail, and the only thing you have to look forward to is a bunch of well, problems. Double pay, baby. Sorry, Double pay. Let's just hope for that. Let's hope. Uh, but besides the ponies, remember a while back we talked about the vinyls? I, we're talking the pony or the, the record here? The pony record vinyls. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was very confusing on my end. Sorry. Uh, it was the vinyl album. Okay. So we're talking about an, a vinyl album as in the physical form of music of a vinyl album, not an album about vinyl scrap. No, no, no. It's uh, a while back we talked about Explore Equestria Greatest Hits vinyl album, and we talked about that one hitting stores a while back. Um, not really stores. Well, I think, it, yeah, it was an announcement of what's in the tracks. But, well, now we have a date, and it's going to follow on the 25th, which was a few days ago. So, yay! If you guys do enjoy or do collect or do have a vinyl player, I say hit this up because this is one of those things where it's really cool, really rare. I'm just thinking, everyone just like, 
Black Friday madness. Get out of my way! I want that vinyl record! No, I do! <laughs> blood, blood everywhere. Oh god, you're so grim. Well, hey, Black Friday does things to people. Horrible, horrible, horrible things to people. Have you ever seen a Black Friday sale that's tame? Oh yeah, uh, where I worked at at Office Max. Uh, surprisingly, um, everyone was very cordial and it was, um, it was busy, but it wasn't throgs and insane busy. Uh, that's what places like Target and Walmart and Best Buy, the big, big box stores get. They get the, especially Walmart. You want the insane people? You go to Walmart. <laughs> No, uh, you, actually, actually, you just go to Walmart if you want insane people when it isn't Black Friday. Yeah, I've heard news, I've heard news, and oh god, it's, I, I, I don't know. Woman, you are 400 plus pounds, you do not wear spandex. Well, she wants to be a superhero. Yeah, what? <laughs> This uh, hypnotic gaze where every time she moves her fat or his fat. No, no. I've seen guys that large wearing skin tight clothing. And it's just like, sir, madam, when you're that thick, you don't wear skin tight clothing. It's just obscene. People have their kinks. Okay, fine. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, this vinyls are out and yeah they look cool i wish i had a vinyl player so i could justify buying this uh but oh well that's the news for this week which is pretty little like i i'm not happy with this ah what can you do man it's the hiatus we only got stuff to i mean we only gotta wait for the next season a movie and the quest girls three-parter stuff Mm -hmm. coming out but it's gonna be a while so what we gotta, what we gotta do is tie the time with fan works and fan stuff. Oh, true, true. And talking about fan works and fan stuff, how's your writing doing? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> actually pretty good, surprisingly. Oh, um, really? Yeah, uh, at the rate I'm going, I may actually finally be able to, uh, post something maybe before this month is out. Ah. Which would be great. Because then that would mean I've actually updated at least uh, at this rate, it's going to be a finally released an update three years later. Yay. Wait, <laughs> seriously? Three years later? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, um, the, the, my, the plan basically is at this point to finish it before June. Wait, finish the whole thing? Before June of next year, yes. The plan is to release at least bi-weekly updates. Ah. So you're just stacking yes. then? Dealing with writer's block in real life is always a pain. And now for some reason I sound like a cinema snob. Oh god. But no, seriously, when it comes to writing, um, finding stability in your life is probably one of the biggest thing any writer or artist can do. So once you find that, then it just comes down to actually doing the work. Well, that sounds reasonable. I mean, sometimes when you're writing something, it's never easy finding the right words, tune, or feel for certain situations. So, yeah, writer's block do comes in and plays a part. I wish we had another content creator in here, like Safi or something, or they had to talk about their work and whatnot. And Ah, <clears throat> uh, man. Because, I mean, uh, they, they'd also be able to back us up on this, on how content creators, I mean, um, the different, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're a writer or like what you are, a podcaster, a video maker. Um, we all have issues. Well, <laughs> we all have issues creating and it comes down to it. Um, so some people who just uh, consume will think it's like, oh, well, you just record yourself and bada boom. But how many hours do you spend editing this thing? Oh, it took me. Well, for this one, it says on the track 11 to 12 minutes, but I can guarantee you it's going to take an hour. Yeah, uh, and that's just for the, the simpler podcast. Then you have the review podcasts, which take a lot more editing to uh, edit out the stupidity. <laughs> no, sometimes I leave it in, but yeah, I do. Well, <laughs> I do know what you mean, but the audience at home needs to understand that sometimes we talk a lot of insane stuff that are not PG friendly. I wish sometimes that <laughs> we can just go off the cuff, do an open 
thing where rating is out the window, but nah, just to keep that PG rating, because well, this is a show for kids, so the target audience is going to be targeted at kids. But my co-host and I can say whatever we want. And that leads to some very stupid things where we forget exactly what we're saying. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, that, that's the thing though, is that you've put effort into, into your, into your projects. And by doing that, uh, you love and care for them, but at the same time, you want to be sure you put out a great quality product. And sometimes the, the biggest, uh, problem some people have fallen into and something I fell into for years was the, uh, was the, it has to be perfect and not done mentality uh, when when it comes down to it you should have the it's done not perfect mentality uh, because perfection is that's not a word well yeah I'll swear that one out yeah. <laughs> perfection is impossible uh, perfection is impossible it is an unattainable ideal you can be better at things but uh, there is no way any of your because eventually once you finish the project you're going to go back to it and be like, oh, I could have done this better, or I could have said this better, or I could have written this character differently, or I could have commented here, or, oh, I should have done a different angle here when I was filming. It's like There's always going to be something you're going to see later, and you'll always compare yourself to where you are from then you from where you were to there you are now. A good example is Star Wars. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, actually, yeah, because George Lucas just kept adding more and more things. I mean, the thing is, some some of the edits were great. Some of the edits were bad. Yeah. Some of the edits were like, okay, George, calm down, George. <laughs> Stop, George. <laughs> Why, George? <laughs> uh, that's true. Uh, but in the end, right, uh, the, the thing is, like, if you hunt down for the first episode of the MBS show, it's, let's just say I'm not proud of that thing. Like, earlier recordings, I'm not proud of it. Like, it's... To me, it's cringe. I I don't really like how it goes. But hey, it's a learning experience. You evolve, you mature, you get to know the ins and out of things. So looking back on things, you can go into your head, oh man, I, I should have done this way and that way. But it's a learning experience. Nothing Nothing is 100% done right. Even if you think it's perfect, it's never perfect. Nothing is perfect. Except if you're fighting in a video game where you have a perfect life point that's not been touched. So that's something different. But no, um, in terms of content creation, nothing's perfect. Perfect. <laughs> yep. Now, I'll never have seen that in Street Fighter. No, no, not good at fighting games. But yeah, so I guess the biggest problem with that mindset was that I wanted my project to be perfect so that it would stand the test of time so that I would not come back to it and be dissatisfied with it. Fortunately, that can lead to constant Rewind. after writing an entire chapter. Yes, yes, rewriting it or going over ideas in your head continuously. On the plus side, I have everything mapped out now. So, like, like, li- li- like, literally, I have an entire notebook here filled with notes about. This is this character. This is how this character connects to this character, this character, this character, this character. This is the flow of plots with them. This is their subtext. This is their mindset in this chapter. This is their mindset as the uh, uh, effects go along. This is how they are. This is their beginning, middle, and end for each side character, main character, and tertiary character. Heck, I even have stuff in here basically that is entirely about a simple side plot that happens in a single chapter that is only happening in the background, but affects two characters that will make decisions that will affect the main characters. Will, I, I'm glad that you don't have a corkboard with strings attached to pictures, connecting characters and whatnot. Oh, oh yeah, looking like some sort of conspiracy <laughs> theory nut. It's all connected, Norman! It's all connected! <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just glad you don't have that, and you're civil enough to write it down in a book, so yeah. The best thing I can say to any content creator is, if you have an idea, just do it to the best of your ability that you have now. And maybe a year later, if you can think of something better to add to it, do it again. But just get it out there, because if you like the idea, if you really like the idea, and you think it's something people would enjoy, get it out to the folks. Because I'm pretty sure there will be plenty of people... um, uh, Someone made a piece of art that uh, a simple comic of uh, 
to, of uh, how an artist sees themselves compared to other artists and how content consumers see the artists. Uh, one artist creates a, a cake, and they uh, see that another person has created a cake, and it's like, oh, that guy's cake is so much better looking than mine. And that's what the artist sees. But the content consumer sees, oh, sweet, two cakes! <laughs> True that. Yeah, I mean, you'll, you'll have people that'll nitpick or see something yep. wrong with something, and that, you'll have that with anybody. You can't please everybody. Oh, true. But um, a majority of people will, on, on the whole, at least, yeah. Yeah, but unless you write something really stupid like a sunset shiver, twilight uh, glimmer, crack ship, anthro, three <laughs> D with tentacles. I, I don't know. I think that might actually be popular on fan fiction. Yeah, have you heard spiders? This. I don't think I want to now. Jeez. Oh, God. Spider says it's one of those really bad fanfic that's really gotten... How do I say? It's bad that it's good. So so bad it's good. Yes. So I, I don't think anything will uh, ever top My Immortal. That is like the quintessential so bad it's good fanfiction. Ay, ay, ay. And you familiar with that one, Norm? I've heard of it. I'm not sure. Is it pony related? No, no. It's actually a Harry Potter fan fiction. Oh yeah. It has. It is. It is probably one of the most quotable. Uh, it's probably one of the most quotable bad fan fictions. Oh God. It, just, just in how badly written, out of character, inane, crazy. Okay, okay. The main character's name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Ravenway. <laughs> You're killing me. Are you sure? Yeah, here's the opening. Hi, my name is Ebony Dark... Oh, it, it's Dark hyphen Ness. It says Darkness Dementia Ravenway. And I have a long ebony black hair. That's how I got my name. With purple streaks and red tips that reaches my mid-black and icy blue eyes like limpid tears. And a lot of people tell me I look like Amy Lee. Oh, cool. yeah, author's, author's note, if you don't know who that is, then get the hell out of here. Wow. And that is the opening. And this is a Harry Potter fan fiction. Oh, oh wow. but it's just... It's insane. It's, uh... What this fic does have is just... Okay, it doesn't have any characterization. It doesn't have any problem... That, Oh, it's just, it has. That's not a word! Time travel, guns, goth concerts, ludicrous and confusing nicknames, dramatic hindrances. That's not a word! Fishnets and clothing descriptions worthy of American Psycho. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's one of those fics that's so insanely written you can't tell if someone did it on purpose, or if it's some teenager's very demented weird shit fic. Yep, and I'm sure Sweetie Butt is going to have a lot of fun today. <laughs> oh, gosh, yes. So, 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 folks, uh, the only reason I mentioned this thing on the show is not an example of something to go seek out, but only a warning. A warning that sometimes there are some people who are very, very, very weird, and we will laugh at them for it. <laughs> And back to the moral of the story is always publish your stuff no matter how cringe of it is. <laughs> Cause you know what? You may end up making something so cringe worthy that it may be interesting to read. Or watch, like Tommy Wiseau's The Room. Have you watched that? Exactly! Exactly, The Room. <sighs> I mean, he created it and it was one of his projects of love apparently, but you know what? Um he still created it to try and share with people and well, <laughs> share he did. People, it, it, the share he did um, comes down. I mean, people can argue about quality back and forth, but heaven help you, people did talk about it. Oh, true that. And the best part is, it's stupidly quotable. Oh yeah, I think that's actually probably one of the funniest things about mm, <laughs> bad works is that they just become so ingrained in just how weird they are to us that we just love quoting them because of how well weird they are true and the best part is it's always one of those things where if you quote it and somebody knows it oh you've seen it you know what i mean 
Oh, yeah. Well, like, you can just share it with someone immediately. And then, even better, when, uh, when someone else follows up with the rest of the quote, it's just like a connection you form. It's like, I did not hit her! I did not! She's lying! No! <laughs> Hi, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh. I need to rewatch that one. Oh, it's 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 just one of those movies that is a great popcorn flick. Oh, you should have popcorn. I wouldn't want to choke myself. Popcorn is great, man. Yeah, but while watching the room, I'm gonna be laughing all the time. I don't think I can eat anything. Okay, well then, don't eat anything. Just um, dr- drink something. Well, no, I actually didn't be doing a bunch of spit takes. <laughs> You know what? Probably just I don't, I don't know. Vape something? No, no, smoke no that's no. probably worse. I, I don't know. Uh, but anywho, yes. Uh, post your content if you do any. And well, we're not saying that you should just throw it out there. Do some QC first, quality quality checks, and make sure that well, it's okay in your eye, even though it's not perfect. Like make sure that it's okay. Yeah, and then you can also do some quality checks and looking awesome while doing it. Yeah, uh, like put on some sunglasses. Then it'll be instead of quality checks, it'll be CQC. CQC? Yeah. What's that? Oh come on, Norman. Don't tell me you don't know the basics of CQC. Yeah, I know what's the basic of CQC, but in terms of quality checks? Yeah. First you take a knife, then a gun. Knife gun. <laughs> Oh god, no, 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 no. Oh, talking about contents, we are, sh- everything where we spot out, there's always something that's out there. Oh god. Completely, and that's gonna be a reference I will wonder how many people get. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just, uh, you know, when, when you look at anything, you can always look at the comments, of course, and you might have spoilers. Mm-hmm. But then you can also look at, you know, the ratings, but then you also might get trolls. Yeah. But then you can also look at the description, to to which then that may be a problem in and of itself, because some people just don't describe what they're doing. Oh, yeah. Well, you could always ask a friend who you trust. I don't trust any of my friends. <laughs> Last time someone said, it's like, oh, we'll check this out. And I'm like, oh, what's this going to be? Oh, oh, God, why? 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 Why did you send me that? And they, they laughed at me. Oh, <laughs> uh, because it's good? <clears throat> Not good. It's it was It was just... Shock value. <laughs> well, they got a reaction of you. <laughs> oh, oh, they think it was just so good funny. <laughs> uh, but anywho, if you guys at home have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, or even want to share content with us, you can contact us at mbsshow at gmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at mbsshow. And mine is at Norman Sanzo. So, Will, what about you, man? Where can the people reach you? You can find me on Tumblr, on FinFiction, on DeviantArt, and on YouTube. All under the name Will I Zin. Alrighty then. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvilleLive.com. Links are in the show notes. And also please subscribe to our newest show, then be sure reviews and discussion podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. On that show, you will catch Silver Quill being really, really jerky to Sapphire. Yes, that's what I'm going for. If. Oh, jerky. I mean, I don't know. I, I kind of see them like a feuding couple. Like, why don't they just kiss already? Well, because... To which I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Sapphire's going to kick me in the butt for saying that. Oh, yes, she is. And also, she has manga coming. And Silver is way over her age limit. Oh, whatever. Maybe, maybe oh, wait a second. <laughs> That's an idea. Let's ship Manga Common and Silver Quill. Oh, yes. Griffins. <laughs> Griffins and Hippogriff. What do you get? Mm. You get a magical baby that's uh, three fourths Griffin? I don't know. It'll be interesting. Okay. Yeah, so if you were to hear that insanity happen over there, who knows, right? <laughs> yeah, who who knows? True. What 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 will the lovely folks be hearing later this week anyway? Um spoilers. Um next week they will catch the fault in our cutie marks where the episode features Gabby. Ah oh, yes. 
Hmm, maybe you should try and get manga comment in for that. Have a double griffin well, sort of thing. It's already on standby, so nah. <laughs> uh oh. But yeah, anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo. I have been Will Zinn. We'll catch you guys next week with another amazing episode of the MBS show. See ya. Toodles, folks. <laughs>